Hey y'all, this is the Butcher, and this video is just going to be something, it's a, a little bit of a, a little guide for you to make some setting changes to set the set up uh, your device uh, with the settings that you need. And this is going to be fresh out of the box. This is 19.0, the uh, official release on this. So I'm going to go through a few of the items that I always tell people to change or to, to uh, make adjustments. And um, the first thing I'm going to do is let's go to system and we're going to go to display. And all right, so one, before we do anything, we need to change this. I'm going to change it to expert. And this will make it to where you're able to see more things. And I don't know if you noticed the difference has already appeared um, in here. Uh, there was numerous things. We'll swatch. I'll go to basic. Let's go to standard is what it would have been. This is standard. So I like to have it on expert. I'm able to see more things, change some things. So we're going to go to display first. And one of the biggest things that needs to be fixed on a lot of TVs is video calibration. And what that means is it sets the size of your picture so that the screen being displayed through your device is at the correct space so that the corners match up correctly, subtitles and all that kind of stuff. So let's go down here and we're going to do video calibration. Now for me, I see that I'm not too far off. Now you see the blue is kind of highlighted. I'm going to go down a little bit to get it to where it's just in the corners of my display without being off of the corners. You want it to be just inside the screen. Did that. And for this, mine's really not really that far off from me. The one thing that is off a lot of times is this which is your subtitles and you want it to be just above uh, the uh, the bottom of your screen so this is your subtitles make sure each of those are set correctly I have never had to change this perfect square I, I don't know <laughs> it's never seemed to be wrong so I'm gonna go with that so we've set that up so if you ever taken your device to somebody else's house and it just doesn't look right, it's probably because the calibration is incorrect. So we got that. Um, let's go down to uh, audio, which is a common issue with a lot of people. Number of channels. Um, I, I, I usually have mine on 5.1 because I have a 5.1 5, 5 surround sound with a sound bar. Uh, but that it depends on your setup. If you have just a regular TV, that kind of stuff. So you can set that how you want. And this also sets up how you want your the sound will be. And depending on your device, it will give you more options or less options. All right. So um, the other big thing that I tend to turn what people have a lot of questions about is this audio pass through so if you have a, <clears throat> a a surround sound system and it's it's got its own decoders and stuff like that you'll want to turn this on and then when you turn that on it will give you options down here again depending on the device that you're plugged into it may give you more or less on my tv that i have over there I actually had like uh, I had Dolby Digital, I had Dolby Digital Plus, I had um, HD DTS Plus, I had um, and another one. I had several. So depending on the surround sound system or speaker systems you have, you can turn that on or off. And what this means is that Cody doesn't really do any of the splitting up the sounds. It sends the one big package to your receiver and your receiver decides what speaker gets what sound now if you have this off cody decides what speaker gets what sound which may, is not necessarily a bad thing so you need to know what device you have what type of audio system you have and then that will tell you here um, i've got a web page that i'm going to go here and i'm going to post this in the notes and this is a an older it was written a while back ago updated for version 16 but this at least gives you an idea of some of the settings that you can uh, set up inside of your on your device in this setting and it show it to shows you are you just a PC PC is it just a regular TV TV with uh, AC3 different options telling you the number of channels uh, then it, uh, output configuration best match stuff like that so let's go up there and again it gives you idea of what your settings may be so I'm, I'm gonna look what's my what's my output I didn't even look 
optimized. So maybe I should do best matched. Maybe that would be probably for, for, for my setup there. So, oops, let's get that back over here. Uh, come here. Get over here. So I'll put this link in here. In uh, Yes, it is a little bit dated, but it does give you kind of a, a little cheat sheet to understand what some of those settings are. And you can mess around with it. You can mess around with it with a really good movie that has some good surround sound and, and change settings and then uh, see how it works for you to get the best sound for your system because depending on your setup, it, it may need different settings. So that's what that setting is for. So let's go over here. We're going to go to uh, Player. We're going to go to that one, which is another one that people would probably find pretty helpful uh, if you've ever had it to where that you want the skip like when you hit forward you want it to change the increments that it does that it goes in you can actually change that right here so if you're you don't like it to do 10 seconds you actually can go through there and change this um, into some jumps how it jumps from as you're hitting forward so neat neat little feature there um, if you uh, let's see skip delay I'm not gonna go do 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 uh, sync sometimes if things are off sync you can actually use this and will sync the playback that is a, an option uh, I'm not gonna worry with this HQ scaler some people get a, a big all excited about these if you read some of this stuff it was really designed for older devices weaker devices in the early versions of Kodi and it was actually used when the quality of the of the stream wasn't as good as well as the device so this was I don't really see for most of the devices now I don't see where this is really useful so some people focus in on this but from what I read uh, it's on the Cody forums you can do your own searches it really doesn't seem to help a lot so again I think a lot of people get excited about that I don't sweat it too much uh, we'll go down here to language which is another um, wait a second. What did I have something else in here in the languages? No. Okay. So we go into languages. Uh, one of the things in here, preferred audio language, which means, what are you going to hear? Uh, some people complain, well, why is it always, it plays some other languages. So this is going to set it to whatever the media, what the default, um, what the, what it was ripped as and that's the the main language that's what it's going to play but if you go through and let's say that y you speak english as i'm doing here i actually set mine to english i i don't want to have to listen to russian because i'm never going to understand them so i set the preferred audio language to english for me um you can set preferred default language uh oops and this will basically set it for you when you go through if, if it'll set it to English so I always I always leave that on there um, preferred subtitles this would use it if it was a, a Russian rip it may be in Russian so you can set click this and change it um, to English but I'll tell you what I tend to do is I hit none on this and the reasons why I hit none on this is because I don't want my movies to default to pull up subtitles I don't want subtitles on by default I want it off by default and if I find there's a movie that I do need subtitles I can always turn that on on the on-screen display because you can hit the movie and you'll see the little subtitle icon over there and you can change it and turn on the subtitles but if you want subtitles to be on all the time and you want you you can set the language what you want it to be so that one was a good one or one that seems to be necessary a lot uh let's see what else was it interface um region so this is another thing that i make sure for me i set my region and i set the language on my device what i want it to be you also can change the keyboard and how the keyboard is laid out through here you can change how the clock is displayed uh you can see it's in usa 12 hour but i could also make that a 24 hour clock uh, let's see, uh, hit America 24 and it puts it at 1500 hours. So simple little things like that can make this fit for you, fit you better or fit you worse. If you have, uh, this would be 
and item where if you have the weather turned on you may want to have this uh, for Fahrenheit or Celsius dependent on your setup. Another cool feature is um, the screensaver mode. Uh, and this is when you don't do nothing and you can see the wait time is three minutes so after three minutes the screensaver will come on and people don't know you actually can change the screensaver and we can click on that it gives black and dim and I can get more and let's go ahead let's see this is uh, and I'm checking this I don't know if this is going I hope it's working in 19 I have not tried it so this is asteroids let me just click this just a little look okay so that's an asteroids look and let's see um, let me click another one um, if you like some Bing like the photos of the week it has that um, some of these items matrix trails this would do like matrix running down your screen uh, pyro let's see let me try this pyro that looks interesting and again this is little simple stuff nothing major okay maybe I don't like that one yeah I don't really care for that one so let me try one more and then we'll move on uh, well, let's do the matrix one so you can kind of see that and again Google Earth is on here we'll do matrix install matrix and it's just another little small customization you can do and it's uh, set the time but I'm gonna go ahead and hit preview so I can see what it looks like and there is my screensaver. So simple little fixes. I think uh, some of these would help you when you're set when you get a brand new setup when you set up Cody for the first time and you're trying to figure out what does what. Uh, a handful of these items I hope helps. I also on my Coca 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 Scope channel I'm going to do some more intricate videos on setting up some subtitles and some in some other things where I have to actually show video. So I'm gonna do some other videos there that will be things that are a little bit more intricate that may not be looked upon by Cody or by YouTube is, is uh, welcoming. So thanks again for watching this. I hope that you're able to set your device up to fit your taste, your needs, and have it doing what you need it to do. And we'll talk to you all later.